Welcome back to X Snipes Gaming. Today, I was out for lunch with my buddy Dolany TV, and we were coming up with more video ideas to do on NHL 18. So, I came up with this. As you can see, we got McDavid Crosby. So, I made a season. I'm playing as both Edmonton and Pittsburgh, so I could do this video. We're going to see who plays better together McDavid and Malkin or Crosby and Dry Settle. See who could get the most points. I'm not going by which team does better because I'm an Oilers fan, but face it, Matt Murray is way better than Cam Talbot. And people will argue that Pittsburgh and Edmonton are evenly matched when they face each other in real life, but in the game, Pittsburgh has the edge a little bit. So we're gonna do that. The wingers I'm going to probably take a youth guy to throw with them, like Pooley Arby for Edmonton. I don't know who else for Pittsburgh, but we'll do that, see if they accept this trade. Go down, and the trade is accepted. And best rosters for that, best rosters for that. And we'll go change the lineups here. And edit lines. So I'm just doing this for fun. So we're going to move dry settle up there. And we got Drake Kajula. You know what? We'll keep Lucic up there. Just for the fun of this. And we'll go over to Pittsburgh. McDavid. Malkin and Hornquist. We'll keep Hornquist because Lucic is is also a 84 so it makes it kind of even there anyway let's get into the season we'll take it month by month see where everyone is see what the points are let's do two months we'll do two months for it and we'll go to the calendar here and we do play Edmonton twice which would be since we play Edmonton I'm gonna Simulate up to Edmonton, do the automatic thing, sim for it, like when I'm in there. See who gets points out of those guys. And Pittsburgh right now starting 5-2-0, 5-3-0, they're starting to slip 5-4-0. Not, doesn't matter where we end up, it's who gets the most points. And if you look at Edmonton, they're 5-1-1. One, one. So let's go up to this date. And we will simulate the game. And we'll just go by goals. And Ryan Strom on Matt Murray. There's Malkin and McDavid. There you go. There's two points for them. Could be more. We don't see the assist. And then there's Chris Letang. We'll go see the box score for all these players. And we got Malkin and McDavid. Three points each in that game. Fantastic by those two. Go see about Crosby and Dreisaitl. They had no points. Four shots each. So right now Malkin and Crosby, or Malkin and McDavid, sorry, are the better group out of them. So we'll go up to this game too. See how Pittsburgh does. They're seven and four, nine and four, and Edmonton six three and one. And we'll simulate this game. And we'll go, let's just go all events. Any goals? One by Pittsburgh. I probably passed it, so you know what? We'll just go goals. And it was by Rust. And then Kajula and Getzel. And then Clefbaum goes to overtime, and Dublin wins it. We'll check the score or the stats again. Crosby dry settle held pointless again again against Pittsburgh. What about Crosby and Mal or Malkin and McDavid? Malkin with a point, Crosby with or McDavid. Sorry about that. I'm used to saying Malkin and Crosby. But Malkin and McDavid, one point between the two. Not too bad. Sorry about the phone buzzing. That's my girlfriend there. So we'll go up to this end of this one, see where those four players are at. 
And we're going on a bit of a landslide here with Pittsburgh. There's some points there, probably. Shutout. There's an overtime loss. Five goals, though, scored that game. Five more of this game. One, and then six. And then five again. So, hopefully, there's some goal scoring there. And it should stop simulating right now. And we'll go take a look at this. Pittsburgh's leading uh, way with 15. So Malkin 35 points. McDavid 26. So Malkin's doing a bit better than McDavid. But I didn't go change the power play or anything. So Malkin has 16 goals, 19 assists in 26 games. McDavid 10 and 16, 26 in 10 games. Now let's go check the Edmonton Oilers out. Crosby has 26 points, 9 and 17. And Dry Settle has 21, 9 and 12. They have played a game less than us. Let's go see where the Oilers stand. And they are first place by two points, but like that division after Anaheim just drops down by 10 points. And in here, like it's a race to the finish already all right so we'll go three months now or until we play the Oilers again I don't think the Oilers in Pittsburgh play anymore so this is one month two so we'll go up to the trade deadline just for the fun of it keep pressing the wrong buttons here what do you guys think about this video I'm thinking about doing and hold on there is a trade, Josh Bailey and Thomas Hickey for Kyler Yamamoto, basically is what they want. We're going to decline that because really it's just one season. If it was more, it'd be different. We have 5-3 win. I'm probably going to post two more videos after this one. But I just want to see how this how it would work with Malkin and McDavid, Crosby, Dry Settle. I know their forwards aren't the best, like Lucic isn't the best right now, and neither is Hornquist, but I could have put Kessel, but that would have been unfair for Edmonton. So Edmonton doesn't have that 86 on there. And so right now the Pittsburgh Penguins are 26, 16, and 7. I'll make that 17 losses, but not too bad. New Jersey's like up there with them. Golden Knights, they should easily win. No offense to you Golden Knights fans. But coming from an Oilers fan, you got to hate every team in the Pacific. I used to live with a couple of buddies of mine. They were, one was a San Jose fan, one was an Oilers fan, and one was a Flames fan. So you could see where that kind of got out of it. But look at this trade. Thomas Hickey, Dennis Seidenberg, and Ladd for Yamamoto and Christopher again. If I was doing trades in a franchise, I'd do it. But here we go with Ottawa. And they just want Yamamoto like no tomorrow, it looks like. 3-1 win. Chara for Slepyshev. You know what? I'm just going to accept that trade for the fun of it. Just because I can. <laughs> I should have been accepting all the trades, but you know what? Whatever. David Perron and Jason Garrison for Yamamoto and Becker. Why not? And we are here. So let's go check how Malkin and McDavid doing are doing. Oh, that's the line. Sorry. It's been a long day. But we have fallen out of a playoff spot. Tell you that much right now. Yeah, we're sixth place. We were first. All right, Malkin is leading away 68 points in 30 or 63 games. He has 34 goals already and 34 assists. McDavid 55 points, Hornquist 48. So that rounds up your top line there. We'll go check the Oilers and Crosby and Drysaddle. Crosby has 55 points. Drysaddle, like Lucic isn't even up there. 
it is what it is. This video was just for fun to see how the teams would do. And we'll just go right to the end of the year. If we make the playoffs, we make the playoffs, and this video is going to be a bit longer, but I don't expect any of the teams to actually make the playoffs. Actually, the Oilers might after. I should have accepted some of those trades, but you know what? Whatever. And we're just on a cold spell right now. Well, the Penguins are. Somehow we could be Washington 5 nothing, And we will see where everyone lines up. I don't think Pittsburgh made the playoffs, to be honest. Nah, they were outside by three points. What about the Oilers? The Oilers finished first. Wow. The Oilers finished with 100 points, 47, 28, and 6. That is a shocker to me, so we are still going. Crosby finished the season with 72 points, 35 goals, 37 assists. Dry Settle had 23 and 41 for 64 points. They were plus 20 and plus 29. But look, UC Jokinen, minus 18. Like, what are you doing, bud? Chara, I don't even think, played a game for them. We'll go down to Pittsburgh, see how Malkin and McDavid did. Malkin, 86 points. He was three off of 50 goals. McDavid, 67. And Hornquist, 63. So that top line was getting it done. So we'll go through the playoffs, see how many points Crosby and Drysaddle can get. We'll just go calendar, and we are playing the Vancouver Canucks first round. Oh, they still have one more game, and they lost, but whatever. So we'll go down here, see how far the Oilers can make the playoffs. And did the Oilers just actually beat Vancouver first round? They did. <laughs> now they play Anaheim. I'll go up to here. Can they actually beat Anaheim? They beat Anaheim. Now they're playing Minnesota. I was not expecting this, guys. Like, who would have thought the Oilers be going? Okay, so they lost in the third round. I wasn't expecting this. This was just to be a season where each team doesn't make the playoffs. But, you know, one team did. And the guy said, congrats to the Oilers and Crosby. And I went to the wrong one. And let's just go see the player stats for this. Drysaddle had 17 points. Crosby had 15. But look, that's actually not bad. Having all these guys in there. But anyway, that's where I'm going to leave you off today. If you guys like this video and want more, see what other players we can switch. Leave a comment, subscribe, leave a like, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.